I can't tell you how many times through the years I had an oh my God moment when I realized that there was another layer to this. You were a whistleblower and took such huge risks. The enormity of what you uncovered and discovered and then reported upon was mind boggling. I first encountered the issues that led to my uh, crusade, if you will, when I was working as an investigator, a fraud investigator for the state of Pennsylvania Office of Inspector General. I discovered that the Johnson & Johnson company was creating a drug protocol that would favor their drug risperdal. To expand the number of uses, the entire marketing process of the drug from clinical trial through academic reporting, through the FDA and approval process, it was all based on fraudulent or manipulated material. They removed me from lead investigator. Did they tell you why they removed you? That I was too focused on the big picture, that I was too focused oh, on Penn Too team focused app. on what you were doing. Yeah. I was told drug companies write checks to both sides of the aisle, back off. They wanted to maintain a deliberate ignorance of what was going on because their jobs depended on the political people who were being supported by the industry. I remember sitting back like this and said, you win. I have three generations count on me, you win. I have to have my job. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, son of a bitch, you're going down. And I made my decision at that moment to become a whistleblower. We conducted 140 depositions all over the country. Our database of discovery documents rose to nearly a million documents, 10 million pages. The combined hours put in between the Attorney General and my attorneys exceeded 100,000 hours over a period of six years. We finally got into trial in January 2012. For 10 years, it hijacked my life. Johnson & Johnson caved in and settled after six days of prosecution testimony. We were destroying them. We were laying out just an incredible story of deceit and corruption that permeated the entire drug development and marketing process. There were times that I questioned whether I had the strength to keep going or whether or not I would succeed, but it was never ever a time when I questioned whether I did the right thing. This is not for the light of heart. You can't think, okay, I'm gonna blow the whistle, I'm gonna be a multimillionaire. The odds are 95% of you will not get a nickel. You will destroy your career and you'll end up with nothing. You will have the respect of no one, you will be a pariah, they'll be thought of as being crazy, they bury you. If I'd have done what they wanted me to do and shove that all aside, I would have been just like them. One of our whistleblowers repeatedly tried to confront the issue internally. He brought samples of what he viewed as clear evidence of the fraud, writing sheets that were actually numbers were crossed out and say, this is what's going on. This is what we're being directed to do. Part of the explanation was the words business decision. Johnson & Johnson in total, I think, paid out almost $3 billion, but it was for a drug they made $44 billion on. Right, so it's the cost of doing business. Exactly. I know that you're handling a case that does have to do with a very large drug company. This is the case that uh, we have brought on behalf of two whistleblowers who used to work at Merck. These two individuals were scientists who worked in the vaccine research division. They were testing the efficacy of the mumps vaccine. They weren't getting the efficacy for which they were originally given approval. Our clients are saying they found that the vaccine was not working as well as it was originally. Our allegations aren't just about what they've eyewitnessed, but also what they were told by senior executives, that it was important for Merck to maintain that original efficacy, that very high number, so that it can continue to be licensed in the United States to sell the vaccine. Our clients were directed to falsify the data on the testing. If this is all true, like we believe it is, then there's a real issue of transparency that's at issue here. And if one of the major vaccine manufacturers in this country, in the world, is not being forthright with efficacy, then this is something that needs to come forward. This isn't a couple of guys in a smoke-filled room making a plot. This is everywhere.